Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it is Saturday the 21st of February. Thanks again for watching. Now lots of you have been emailing to ask me what I mean when we talk about troughs and ridges. Uh, so I thought uh, today might be a good opportunity just to show you uh, exactly what we mean. This is the 500 millibar chart. Uh, so this is up at about 18,000 feet in the atmosphere and we've got solid lines on here. These solid lines join um, areas of equal geopotential height. Now they're, they're like um, ice bars at the surface, so the closer together the geopotential height lines are, the stronger the winds at that level. Um, similarly as well, uh, again, like isobars at the surface, they surround areas of uh, high geopotential height centers such as there, and low geopotential height centers such as there. And the wind at those levels flows along the uh, height line, so they're very useful. Um, we use 500 millibars just because it's a nice convenient height to use. It's um, a nice one, just not quite as high at jet stream level. Uh, gives us a, a, a nice uh, height at the top or middle levels of the uh, troposphere. So, uh, when we talk about troughs, uh, this is a trough in the 500 millibar heights in their look. You see the uh, dip in the geopotential height lines, and I can run a line down the middle there. That's a trough, okay? And then, uh, conversely, this here, this kink here, the N shapes, that's a ridge. So, we've got a ridge of high geopotential heights and a trough of lower geopotential heights. But these maps also show us something else as well. They've got uh, temperature on there, and uh, the temperature are the dotted lines that you can see, the coloured lines. If we just zoom in to the UK, you can see those there. Look, there's a minus 35 line just running down here, uh, and they're in five, five uh, degree steps. There's minus 30, and there's minus 35. Now, you might notice as well, look, how the geopotential height lines hang around with the temperature lines. So temperature, geopotential height are both linked. So that is the geopotential uh, height chart uh, as of uh, nine o'clock on Saturday morning. Now that ties in nicely with the radar picture from nine o'clock this morning. And you can see the showers across western parts of Scotland, also down through the Midlands, some across South East England as well. And um, that confirms that um, the cold air that we see aloft uh, with the 500 millibar chart on the 500 millibar chart, which is here, of course, that we saw on the uh, temperature contours, is tied in with uh, unstable air or the creator of unstable air. So that unstable air generates showers. So the trough is aligned with the showers. So when we see troughs, that's where we see showers. Ridges tend to be associated with areas of fairer weather, but also uh, with fronts as well. But when we see a trough such as this, we tend to think unstable air and showers, which of course is what we've seen today. As the trough moved eastwards during the course of today, it brought heavier showers. By three o'clock this afternoon, that was the radar picture. You see the showers then scattered across the country. Some of them heavy, some of them falling as hail as well. So with the trough over the top as classing indicator, as I said, of showery conditions. Satellite picture backing that up as well. Uh, you can see the lines of showers there spreading their way southeastwards with the wind look. Uh, some of those really heavy and bringing some hail across central southern areas and western parts of Scotland, northwest England, across Ireland as well. But better conditions off towards the east. Now we'll stick with the uh, 500 millibar chart because it's just interesting to see how this develops over the coming days. That's uh, Sunday and the jet stream is blowing through here on Sunday. So we've got a jet stream going through there. Look, you see the low in the heights here, also the low here in the Mediterranean. And what's going on here is that that low in the med is being fed by cooler air from the north. The ridge here is being fed by warmer air coming up from the tropics. 24 hours later, look, our low in the Mediterranean has moved its way eastwards. The low off Iceland has moved east into Scotland. The jet is flowing through here. It's a really strong jet, actually, that's coming through. It splits in two, look, one section going north, another section going south here. And that there is the cooler air that continues to be fed into the low in the med, which keeps that one going. On Monday, the jet stream is still there. This feature uh, meandering around, look, it strengthens down into the med, look, deepens the low in there, allowing cold air to get into it. 
and then by Thursday, Jetstream is still present here through the UK. Split well into two though, look. It's still continuing to feed the low down in the Mediterranean. And that low feature becoming cut off actually by Friday. Still this strong, strong jet stream coming across the Atlantic. We've got another trough here which crosses eastwards during Thursday night into Friday. There's our low in the Med. And then by Saturday predicted that the jet stream is flowing through here. Really strong jet by then. Look how the ridge has built though as warm air has pumped its way northwards. Building this ridge all the time. Now notice something that's happened here. The cool air, the cold air has now been cut off. So the low that's in the med weakens dramatically because it was relying on cold air being fed into it in order to be able to survive. But because that cold air isn't there, it's weakened. If we just compare again, look, that was Thursday. So there's our low look. And just to remind you, here's the cold air look being fed into the low, which enables it to survive. But then if we come back to today, look, the cold air, or rather to next Saturday, look, the cold air has gone. Uh, the feed just isn't there. And so the low actually dies in the east of end. Now what that may do then is open the door for this jet stream to actually come a little bit further south on Sunday for the low completely to fill, basically for it to slip away towards the east and for more of a westerly flow to become established across the UK. But what would then happen is that it goes more west into the west or southwest. So what we then find is this ridge building and that may then get this ridge into the UK and into uh, western parts of France for a time. But I don't think that's the ridge that we're talking about building into March. I think um, probably we have to wait until around the 9th or 10th of March for a ridge to get in properly. So I just wanted to show you that, so such a great example of the 500 mm trough crossing the UK today. Don't forget there's lots more videos on the Learning Channel. If you just click onto the Learning Channel at weatherweb.net, you'll find stacks of uh, interesting features there that explain the weather in more detail. And uh, also don't forget my books and DVDs as well, which do exactly the same thing. So I'll leave you with that for now, but whatever you're doing, have a great day. Thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.